Hello all and welcome to the session of IONO. In today's session, we will see how do we create pages, how do we create components and how do we connect the pages and the components. So this is our application. This is a blank application where I've created one button by default. So I will create one more button over here, here and then finally link this button to a page. So for that, I will first create a page. For creating a page, I have to go to the folder of my project. So my project is there in C drive in my folder and the project name is ABC12. So in this, I'm going to uh, generate the page or create a page. So I will say Ionic generate page and then the page name. So the page name I'm saying is feedback which I'm creating. Within few seconds, the page gets created easily. So the page is created. Now I will create a component and the component name I will give it as feedback info. So I will create a component. So for creating component, I will say Ionic create component and the component name is feedback info, for example. So here let us, okay, Ionic, yeah, sorry, I have to generate, not create it. So I will say here Ionic generate component and then the component name is feedback info. So the component of feedback gets created. So our page is created. The syntax for creating page is Ionic generate page and then the page name. Or I can work with, if I do not want to write generate completely, I can just write G as well. So I can write down Ionic space G space uh, page and then the page name. Similarly, here Ionic generate component component name. Now let us see whether this page and the component is visible to us or not. So you can see here I have feedback and you can see here I have feedback info component. Now what is the difference between component and your page? Now your feedback component and your feedback page will have every structure same except the routing because component is a subset of your feedback. So when I say a page, page can be routed. So when I want to call a page or from some different page, routing can be done. But componentally I do not require routing. I can work directly, I can fetch the selector and then call the component. That is why you will find that your component will never have routing. Now, I want to call this feedback on click of button in my home page. So, I will go to my home page. This is my home.page.html file. I will create a button. I will just copy paste this. Then I give the alright. So now I have just added a button and I have given the name as go to feedback page. So I will just save this and check. All right. Here you can see I have got a button called as go to feedback page. So once I click on this, it should navigate to my feedback page which I created just now. Now when I create a feedback page or any page in Ionic, automatically in my app.info it gets updated. So when I go to app.routing.module, automatically my feedback will get created. Now this feedback should also, this particular link should also be known to the page where I am going to call my feedback. So this feedback I will call where in my home.page uh, home folder. So this particular path needs to be copied there. So I will just copy this from here, control C. I will go to home.routing and here I will paste it. You will get this error over here. This error can be easily worked out. So I will just say feedback.module. Now why did I add this into home page? Because from home page I have to route to feedback page on button click. So home in home routing, it should know about where exactly this feedback page is. So once I link this home.routing.page to my feedback, now I will go to my home.html page and I will call it in the button click. 
so here i will call router link so my router link will be called here equal to in double quotes square bracket single quotes so when i create a router link this link uh, the name which i have given over here is feedback now this feedback name and the name of my page this feedback has to be same now here since everything is in small case here also everything has to be in small case to make sure that the name is same so we can work it out so now because router link is created let us see in the application whether we get this once i click on feedback page you get the page information that is welcome to feedback page and then you get the component feedback info box now suppose this component i want to add again into some other page so I have one page by default which is called as update page. So in this update page, if I want to call the same component, the step remains the same. First thing I will go to update.module.ts and over here I will declare the feedback component. So feedback info component once I declare over here, so automatically the import comes over here. Once I declare it over here, I will go to info. I will go to a feedback info.component file. And then copy paste the selector. So I will take the same selector which I have taken for the previous one. I take the selector and then go to my update.page.html file and I declare the selector over here. So once I declare the selector, I have now the information which will be displayed on my update page will be this hello message, app info which is a component and app feedback info which is also a component. So let us see whether we get this or click. So once I click on the click button, that is my update page comes up. So you get this hello message, you get info component and then you get that feedback works component. Thank you.